Improving the budgeting process One of the most non-value-added activities within financial management is budgeting. Budgets are prepared to allocate and control how resources will be used in the future. Unfortunately the future is hard to predict and upper-level management doesn't always communicate with people who prepare budgets. Because of poor communication, budgeting becomes an exercise in futility. Some of the main problems associated with budgeting are Poor communication from decision makers Too many people involved in the process Budgets don't help manage our business Budgets are outdated by external events Budgets are difficult to revise Since upper-level management often circumvents the budgeting process, the first thing to do in budgeting is to find out what does management expect from the budgeting process? Next make sure management decision making is linked to the budgets. You can accomplish this by creating budgets within the strategic planning process. Don't forget to include external factors when preparing budgets. Outside events and issues can impact your budget estimates. Budgets should be easy to revise. When new planning data pops up your budgeting process should adopt and accept this new data. Hold your cost centers responsible for meeting their budgets. This can force feedback from end users for improvements in the budgeting process. If you find yourself always revising a budget, consider preparing several budgets or set up a contingency budget if you expect changes. Prepare the basic outline or summary of a budget and get approval before you spend lots of time preparing detailed budgets. Or better yet, try to reduce the detail in your budgets to streamline the entire process. Budgeting should be a dynamic process within strategic planning. The more your budgets can react to change, the closer budgeting will be to a value-added activity. If your budgets don't add value to decision-making, then it's time to improve the process. Reference, http colon slash slash www.exinfum.com board slash improve budget process.htm. Regardless of the type of budget you're dealing with, each is assembled in similar ways. The budgeting process requires essentially five steps. Step 1. Determining the flow of information. A company gathers the data necessary to compile a budget in one of two ways. 1. It centralizes the process and has senior management establish the company's priorities and projections, or 2. It directs individual work units and departments to assemble that information on their own. The former is referred to as top-down budgeting, the latter as bottom-up. In general, Budgets that are constructed from the bottom up are preferable, if only for the reason that individual workers and units know more about their departments than central management. On the other hand, bottom up budgeting requires more time to execute and is difficult to manage. Step 2. Deciding what you're going to measure. Step 3. Gathering historic data. After a company decides how it will segment its operations, it turns its attention to gathering historic performance information. The first place to look for historic performance data is the company's financial statements, its balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement. Another source would be the financial ratios. Step 4. Making projections. The fourth step in the budgeting process is for the company to project its performance for the coming year. A budget is only as good as its projections. Establishing budget projections can be as simple or complicated a task as your company makes it. For instance, some companies rely on incremental budgeting, in which forecasts are directly tied to past performance, and are therefore easy to prepare. Others rely on zero-based budgeting, in which forecasts have nothing to do with past performance and are therefore more difficult to prepare. And still others rely on a hybrid approach. Incremental budget projections are the simplest to prepare. All you need to know is what the company spent or made in the previous year. Then you take whatever percentage increase or decrease you think is appropriate. Zero-based budgeting. Zero-based budgeting is the antithesis of the incremental approach. Popularized in the 1970s, zero-based budgets operate on the premise that the amount a company budgeted for a line item in one year has little to do with what it should be budgeting in future years. While more accurate than incremental budgets, zero-based budgets require tremendous amounts of information. Thus, they are extremely time-consuming and expensive. The final step is, determining break-even point. Break-even point determination, calculation, is much more technical than the other steps. Some terms need to be well understood before going to the calculation, such as, 
Contribution margin Break-even point comes with many ways depending on the needs, for example, break-even by units, break-even by sales, 